Okay, um, this is my second video diary on modeling the I Ching. I'm trying to build an engine which will later on be used for more sophisticated um, data analysis. At the moment, I'm just putting together the base classes that are going to be used to uh, decode the hexagrams, um, trigrams, and single lines of the I Ching. In the previous uh, installment, I spoke about the coin, which is used to generate individual lines. At the moment, I'm just using um, a random, pseudo-random process, uh, but it is um, unbiased in the sense that um, it's as close to random as you can get using a simple coin toss. The lines, individual lines of the which are, are later um, translated into the trigrams and comprise the trigrams and the hexagrams are modeled using an enumeration and I model both yin and yang as well as changing yin and changing yang and I have a number of different properties um, associated with each line those will be augmented and increased in the future um, So these are the trigrams over here, and you can see again I have a number of properties associated with each trigram in the enumeration. Uh, these again will be expanded and refactored later on. The bit that I've added since uh, diary one is the hexagram generation. You can see at this point that I have listed all of the hexagrams in the I Ching all 64 of them. At the moment um, they're listed in binary order um, which is known as the Fu Shi sequence um, and each hexagram has a value associated with it. There's 64 hexagrams but since um, Kun which is basically Yin is uh, equal to zero in the binary system. The numbering starts from zero, not one, and goes down to the value of 63 for Qi. Um, what I've done then is also associate with this binary ordered list uh, the King Wen sequence. So you can, if you get a hexagram, you can also see which what order it appears in the King Wen sequence um, and I'll be adding other sequences as I go on. At the moment you can see that a hexagram is being modeled as consisting of two trigrams and that refers back to the trigram enumeration um, and I've modeled them as the trigram above and the trigram below. I also have a very simple method for just writing out the lines associated with uh, a particular hexagram and also the binary uh, equivalent for the different hexagrams. Um, again, uh, these properties will probably change and be augmented as I continue. I've just at this point wanted to put together the base classes um, which will form uh, you know, the core of the, the modeling. So to show you the hexagram generation, um, this is a test that will generate a single hexagram based on a coin toss. And you can see that over there the hexagram Tsui has been generated and I can show which are the constituent trigrams, uh, the equivalent binary string, um, its value in decimal, and the sequence of the hexagram in the King Wen order. I'll be adding more to these um, as I go along. I also want to associate, for example, colors with hexagrams and individual lines and trigrams, as well as perhaps musical notes or other frequencies. It's possible to write out this entire, entire sequence in binary order, um, which I'll show you now. 
and that's the entire list of hexagrams there in binary order. It's also possible to write them out in the King Wen sequence. And that shows you the sequence according to King Wen. Um, that's about it for now. What I have to do now is go through here and look at the actual naming of the hexagrams because the English transliterations of these um, mean that you end up with similar, well, a couple of the hexagrams have exactly the same English transliteration. For example, over here, hexagram 8 and 10 and 11, and I think there's even another one, all have the same name. So I'm going to be looking into various translations um, and also including the, the original Chinese uh, symbols associated with the hexagrams and looking if I can um, find some way of naming those uh, uniquely. I'll also be putting in um, translations of the hexagrams and interpretations um, and that will be coming in future. What I have to do now is also go through here and refactor this code, which means trying to extract interfaces that can be uniform across the different lines, trigrams and hexagrams, and also have a little bit more work to do to include bigrams. Another thing that needs a little bit more work is how um, I, on generating the hexagrams, also return not only the core hexagram, but also um, the hexagram that is generated from the changing lines. So that should be quite minor to incorporate because I've already got that uh, in terms of the individual lines. So that's about it for now. Um, perhaps by the time I can do the next diary, I can have a bit more of a user interface going um, and start drawing these trigrams and then animating them, taking them through different sequences so we can start seeing movements uh, through the different hexagrams.